guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you've all had a really good Christmas and I wish you well for the new year. Um, the new year relates to this video as you'll probably tell by the title. Um, I'm actually going to be filming today my new year's resolutions and how I plan to keep them and yeah. Lilith is right behind me. She's having so much fun on the bed while I film this. I brought her up with some toys and stuff. So she's really happy but she's super squealy so you're probably going to be able to hear her throughout this video so I apologise for that but babies what can you do? I've wrote down all my resolutions on my phone um, because I'm forgetful so I need to find them. Okay, so I've got five New Year's resolutions that I'd really like to stick to and I'm just going to start off by getting into the first one. So my first New Year's resolution that I'd really like to stick to is cut down to one bottle of pop a week. Um, me and Dan are massive pop drinkers and um, I don't know why but we always have and we both know it's really unhealthy for us. When I was pregnant I think I cut down a little bit but not too much. And I know some people absolutely hate the stuff, but me and Dan personally are the people that love the stuff. But we spend so much money a week on it. And so I'd really like to just cut it down to one bottle a week because we do more than that. And I think it's a really good and important health choice for me to make. Lilith, are you going to squeal the whole time? Yeah. So my second New Year's resolution is to stop, cro stop procrastinating and organise stuff whether that be make lists of stuff to do or just keep everywhere tidy and in some sort of good form um i'm awful for just sitting down and thinking oh i'll do it later when if i've got a thought in my head i think i really need to work on just doing it and then sitting down and rewarding myself after i've done the task that obviously i'm dreading um but i can then reward myself by sitting down and doing all the relaxing bit because i sit down cur currently i just sit down worry about everything that I've got to do and then I never actually get to it and it just builds and builds and builds and then I have like a day a month where I'm just running off my feet trying to sort everything out and really I don't want to be doing that in the new year. My third one is to go on more walks whether that be just me and Lilith or as a family so Dan as well. Just a little bit of time every week to walk somewhere as opposed to using the car. I think walks are really good for refreshing your mind, keeping your mind clear and they're good for you. My fourth one closely relates to that and I just want to start taking a bit of time for myself each week. I know that I, if I have a bath or a shower, it's very quick. I don't take much time for myself. I'd like to just take like maybe even half hour, 45 minutes to myself each week and just like clean my face really well. I just want to take more time for myself in the new year and I think that's really healthy for me and I think it's going to make me a better person and it's going to make me a better mummy as well. My last one is to regain my pregnancy blood sugar levels. Um, for you non-diabetics, you will not know how bloody hard it is to be pregnant and have type 1 diabetes at the same time. I did my pregnancy perfectly. My bloods were on point and um, the hospital were really worried with me because I managed to just like completely tighten them down. They were like perfectly low all the time and that is something that the hospital never actually saw from me before pregnancy. And now I'm not pregnant. I put diabetes to the back of my mind. I kind of just do everything else before diabetes. Um, so I'd really like to just focus on my diabetes a bit more because unless I sort that out I'm going to be feeling really crap. And I won't be a very good or useful mummy with really shit bloods as well. So I think I really need to work on my diabetes, um, try maybe new diets, do things, um, stuff that will encourage me to keep going with my diabetes. So that's everything for this video. These are my New Year's resolutions. I'd love to know what yours are, so please leave a comment down below if you've got any. Or even if you don't, I'd like to know why you don't set them. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, be sure to click subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.